My name is Troy Scarrell. I am the regional manager for Midland in Canada. Midland has new valve production in Skokie, Illinois, as well as repair and remanufacturing. And Houston, Texas also does repair and remanufacturing of valve components. Midland has been around since 1951. So we've been producing valves and railway tank car components for 69 years. And today I will be covering the pressure car components and valves of the tank car. I am going to give a very high overview of the different components or valves that we find on the pressure car in the way of angle valves, check valves, magnetic gauging devices, the needle valve, the thermal well, the pressure relief valve, and maybe we'll even talk a little bit about the valve actuators as well. First off, the angle valve is the most important feature of the railway tank car. It is used to load and unload the commodity within the tank car in a safe and uh, efficient manner. And below the angle valve on the underside of the cover plate, we would find the excess flow check valve that would check an event of the valve either being open too quickly or a break in the line, which would cause the float inside the check valve to check off and uh, very minimal, allow a very minimal amount of product buy. Next is our B612 mag magnetic gauging device. This is primarily used so we do not overload a tank car when we're loading it. You would uh, engage the rod as it has a magnet on the bottom and it would meet with the magnet on the float. And as the level inside the tank car rises, once it gets to the float, then the rod would move up and then we would just monitor that. And once we get to our desired outage or zero, we would uh, stop loading the car and be done loading. The single most important component on the tank car is our pressure relief valve. And on this slide, you can see we have two different styles. We have the internal style where the bulk of the pressure relief valve hangs inside the vapor space. So this is used mainly in LPG or less corrosive materials. And it can be either in a 30,000 SCFM or down to a couple thousand SCFM, depending on the customer's requirements. And next to it, we have a um, external style pressure relief valve. This is more used in the chlorine application in TH world or a corrosive environment. So all the main components that operate the pressure relief valve are above the pressure plate out of the vapor space or the wetted parts space inside the tank car so they don't corrode and break and fail and cause a gnar. So when you have an external one, you're looking at also what commodity you have to determine which one you would want. Some other accessories we would see on a pressure car is our thermal well, the B290. This is mainly used to take the temperature of the lading or the product inside the tank car through the stainless steel tube there with the thermal probe or very long thermometer. And this would be used to help adjust the outage of the tank car when you're loading it, just so you do not overfill it. Next to it, we have the A257 needle valve. This would have a check valve below it on the bottom side of the pressure plate, but this is mainly used by the laboratories, either at the loading or unloading facility to take a sample of the product inside the car so it meets the product specifications and they can do it very safely there instead of going to the two inch angle valve to open that up and allowing more product out than they need to when they go to capture inside their cylinder. So upon going over a very high level view of the components, um, the next thing we come to is we have our expertise and support items on our Midland website. This will allow you to look up our instruction of maintenance to allow you to tear down, rebuild, and reapply the component to the tank car and gives you very specific guidelines of what to look for to condemn parts or wearable parts and how to replace them when you're doing the uh, repair. Some of the other support items we have on the website is also the AAR lookup number, which allows you to look up the tank car approval number from the committee there. So you know the valve is within um, its life there of what you need to do within that 10 year approval number. And also we have our news and bulletins and any other uh, updates that we have that are pertaining to any of the Midland components that you may want to look up. 
Lastly, Midland offers a very um, comprehensive repair and remanufacturing of any used or old angle wells, PRVs, or any other components where we will inspect them upon arrival. We will tear them down, inspect all the internal components. We will clean them up and then we will rebuild it following our IOM instructions. And it will look just like brand new from the OEM side of the business. And it comes with a one year warranty. And from there, you can go and reapply it to a car and feel safe and secure that everything is working correctly. And we will also ship the test certificates and any other required documentation back with it. Thank you for your time today. I hope you have a great day and you have learned a little bit more of Midland's offerings within um, the Valve and tank car component space.